らついてるんで揺さばらしさせてもらうぜオーロニアオーバーパワーメインキャラクターズインアニメイズンティユニークコンセプトウィアニメファンズロブディスオーバーパワーネスアンオーバーディトップアクションディスフューズオーインナーチャイルド The most common plot for overpowered MC is one, where the MC is a transfer student. These students, at first glance, seem to be your regular run-in-the-mill student. But once they get into action, you can't imagine their power level. You could say once in a fight their power level becomes over 9008 transfer students newness makes them stand out at the start, and their skills and talent help them make a name for themselves. They exceed the expectations of their classmates and their teachers. This trope of being overpowered is not a new concept, but it is an acceptable one. The simple reason is, no matter how mainstream it gets, it's a concept that we love. That is why the number of anime that utilize this plot is innumerable. It can be a tedious task finding the actually good ones. Among all those overpowered transfer students, the best 16 anime that feature these characters are as follows. <laughs> Tatsuma Hiyuu, a talented martial artist, was recently transferred to the Megami Academy in Shinjuku. Due to his talent, he was soon acquainted with other gifted individuals in the academy. They had a normal high school life till Ryamyaku, the flow of arcane energy was disrupted. This triggered the awakening among the five teenagers, including Tatsuma. Each of them acquired a supernatural ability. This sudden disruption also caused the city of Tokyo to get infested by demons. For this, the Megami students take it upon themselves to protect the town with their newfound power. The anime is based on the manga, which in turn, was based on a game. So yeah, you can expect some hardcore action and overpoweredness in this anime for sure. <laughs> Ever wondered what a class full of elites would be like? Well, Kaudo Ikusei Senior High School is a utopia that is filled with such classes. Among all the elite classes, Class D is where the worst of the worst are dumped into. But there is a way to upgrade your status in this school, and it is to get better merit than the other classes. Now no one expects much from the D class as they are the worst of the worst. That is until Kiyotaka Ayana Kaoji comes into the equation. He, at first glance, seems to be an unmotivated and harmless guy. But with his giga brain power and intricate planning, he wants to change the standing of his entire class. And this triggers a series of events that shows how op the MC really is. <laughs> High school, it is the representation of a new start, a start where you can make a new life. But for Suichiro Nagi and Bob Makahara, this is not the case. For them, High school is the stepping stone towards becoming the top fighter within the entire student body. But the problem is Taudu Academy is not your regular old school. This is a school that aims to revive the lost martial arts in Japan. Due to this, Suichiro's dream to become the top dog becomes one that can't be achieved easily. The upperclassmen easily crush the dream of the duo. But this doesn't stop the duo, but instead makes them that much more enthusiastic and fulfilling their dream. Will the duo be able to overcome their limits and beat their upperclassmen? You will have to watch this anime to find out. A school, which other than the principal has only five other students, and all of them are girls. This seems like the plot of a typical harem anime, but that is not the case. The MC Yuji Kazami joins the Mihem Academy as a transfer student hoping to have an ordinary and simple high school life. But little did he know that he is the only male in the entire school of seven people. As the only male, he gets acquainted with the rest of the students over time and learns about their personalities. In short, he socializes. But while doing so, he finds out the secret behind such a small group of students. He finds that each of these girls has their own traumatic past. The academy is a home to them as they are referred to as the fruit which started to decay. It is up to Yuji to help the girls save themselves while saving himself.
Sakura Sakura Kauji, a skilled martial artist, is fair and has a strong sense of justice. One day while returning home, she finds an arsonist who lit a handful of people on fire and, due to her sense of justice, calls upon the police. But after the police's arrival, they find no sign of such fire or evidence of anyone being burned. Thinking that she might have been hallucinating, she leaves the premises. The next day when she goes to her class, she finds that a new transfer student, Rei Agami, is joining them. To Sakura's surprise, Rei is the same guy who she thought to be the arsonist. With his kind and sweet persona, Rei quickly became the lovable character in the class despite Sakura's accusation. While investigating, Sakura finds out that Rei is a code breaker, one who doesn't exist and believes in the form of justice that dictates an eye for an eye. Determined to correct Rei's line of thought, Sakura starts keeping a close eye on him. <laughs> Inversia, an unprecedented calamity, changed the world a century back. This changed the power level that the existing nation held, causing the formation of the Integrated Empire Foundation. Moreover, the Inversia caused the rise of Genestella, a new breed of humans who are capable of phenomenal physical capabilities. The elites among them are hand-picked to attend the six top schools. Now that doesn't seem that much of a problem till you introduce the concept of the schools dueling among themselves in a tournament-style battle called Festus. Ayato Amajiri is a student who is transferred to one such academy, and with a scholarship nonetheless. The school he is transferred to is one that has been performing poorly in the recent festas, and they brought in Ayato in hopes of changing it. But little do they know that Ayato has no interest in the tournament, but wants to find his missing sister. In the kingdom of Earlshide, Shin, an orphan, had an everyday and peaceful life in the forest. There he lived with his grandfather, Merlin, and trained in the mystic arts of magic and also swordsmanship. But on his 15th birthday, he had to leave his grandfather and join a school to get formally educated. His social awkwardness made him stand out all right, but the thing that made him well known was his skills. He was on par, if not better than his grandfather, in every aspect of magic. And to the people Earlshide, there was no greater magician than Merlin. The secret behind Shin's overpoweredness is not only his upbringing, but also the fact that he is actually a normal Japanese salaryman who got Isekied into this magical world. His imagination and ability to comprehend magic with modern knowledge make him an unbeatable magician. <laughs> gate, a pathway to another world. This is not a new concept. But several of such gates started appearing on various spots on Earth. Makito City was no exception. The only difference between the regular Isekai gates and this one is that this one brings in destructive beasts known as neighbors. Due to their destructive potential, humans group together to form the Border Defense Agency and use triggers to defeat the neighbors. Osamu Mikumo is one such trigger user and a high school student nonetheless. But he is not the MC because the MC is the transfer student Yu Makuga, a short boy with no prominent external features. But when the school was in a bind due to a sudden neighbor attack, he showed his ability as a trigger user. The best thing is, he is not even a registered trigger user of the Border Defense Agency. <laughs> Based on a webtoon, this anime is one that didn't flop as everyone expected. The story revolves around Rai, also known as the Noblesse Catasatrama Diarazel. He is a transfer student of the school year An High, where he stays under the disguise of a student to hide from the union which is a mysterious organization. To blend in, Rai tries his utmost to act as a high school student and acquaints himself with the classmates. But things don't go as planned, for Union took notice of Rai and abducted those who were close to him. During the rescue, M21, one of the Rouge Union agents, joins Yiran High as security staff. This further complicates Rai's wish to stay hidden. Now Rai has to avoid the Union, who is in a constant manhunt for Agent M21, and protect the ones dear to him. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
恐怖とともに頭蓋に刻め。The Misfit of Demon King Academy has the most overpowered transfer student in the history of anime transfer students. Well, that is in my opinion. The MC, Anos Voldigad, is not just a transfer student, but also the Demon King. A reincarnation of the Demon King, to be precise. Though he is a Demon King, he sacrificed his life for the sake of saving the world. And by doing so, he had to be reincarnated in the world after 100 years. This world forgot all about the actual Demon King. But this was not a problem for Voldigad. He is so overpowered that he started high school just one month after being born. If this doesn't define his overpoweredness, then I don't know what does. Do you guys enjoyed the list of anime where main character is an overpowered transfer student or find a new anime to watch? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell for more anime content like this. Take care and I'll see you on the next video. See ya.